Hey guys, I'm at UK here. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, hope you all managed to get a good look at the website that I made, ankeeping.co.uk. Recently added some new um, content to the websites, um, some ant questions, some new, some other ant species. I think I covered Laceus flavus. Uh, I'm gonna cover some more at some point this week. But anyway, hope you all like it. In regards to this week's video, we're gonna be talking about. What happens to a colony if an ant queen dies? Now, depending on the species, okay, it all comes down to the species. Some ant colonies have more than one queen. Some ant colonies have a colony where if a queen dies, two female ants challenge each other to a duel to the death f to be the next queen. And some other ant colonies have multiple queens that are all reproducting. So for example, if the colony you're looking at now in the video is Laceus flavus, you can have more than one queen, but eventually the workers will kill off the queens and keep the strongest queen alive. So then there's only one queen left. If that queen was to die, eventually the workers would die as well, because there's no rep reproductive cycle. The workers could end up living for an extra three to four months, and on rare occasions for up to a year, depending on if they carry on supplying themselves with food and also and water etc and then you've got your other ant colonies where if a queen ant dies sometimes I can't remember the col I can't remember the species name but I watched a documentary about it a while ago and the females would challenge each other fight I can't remember if it was to the death or until one won and that queen uh, that one would female would become the new queen of the colony and she would start reproducing and then you've got other types of colonies where you can have more than one queen ant in that colony so when a, a queen dies it doesn't really matter because there could be 10 20 30 40 queens in just one colony that all could be reproducing at the exact same time so if one dies they'll just carry on um, I hope that clears some things up for you guys, for people who've been asking this question, I hope it's been a bit of a help for you. I'm going to cover it a bit more on my website, I'm going to put an article on there and um, explain it more in detail. Um, this was just a quick overview video, but anyway guys, this footage is from this week, uh, I took it two days ago, and I'm pretty surprised that they still look pretty lively. Like my Laceus Niger uh, colonies are really slow, but my Laceus Flavus ones seem to be wide awake, <laughs> even though it's getting really cold. Um, but they should start slowing down soon. The house isn't exactly that warm. I keep them in a cool spot anyway. But um, I hope you all got your ants prepared for hibernation. If you don't, if you're not deciding to hibernate them, you know, just they'll end up just slowing down anyway. It's just a chemical chemical clock that they've got so even though you keep trying to keep them awake at room temperature they will slow down eventually um, hope this um, video was help anyway uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like don't forget to comment below and subscribe thank you